Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff B. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast. Yes, it's a windblown day. Some of us are bothered by it, others are not. Mr. <laughs> here with us from the Iowa Great Lakes Area Chamber of Commerce. He's the president and the CEO. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Wonderful. Good. You know, there's just a, enough wind and the overnight temps that you say, oh, it's just a little chilly out here. Enjoy it. It is, man. It's a, it's a beautiful morning. Though I lean back in the chair and, woo, woo that, that was chilly. <laughs> yes, it was. So. It's going to be a, a nice, bright, sunny weekend and week ahead. So yep, it is. Get, Closer and closer to Labor Day weekend, but we're not there yet. So yeah. let's, let's some, some some great boating this weekend. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the temperature is going to be just fantastic. And yep. you know, folks can get out and golf in the morning, and go for a bike ride in the morning, and hit the boat in the lake in the afternoon, and just have a great time. Make it a full Okaboji day. Exactly. Exactly. And go to concerts <laughs> at night. So right. there you go. Uh, you had an informational meeting as you did before Highway 71 construction started last spring, uh, right across the street here in the pavilion. And uh, them talking about, the DO, Iowa DOT talking about, okay, we've gotten, we're almost through the summer yep. here, here's what's next, folks. Exactly. And uh, Jeff, we, we did a Facebook Live on that, so if you go to the Okaboji Chamber Facebook page, you can watch the presentation and, and you know, re-watch it from what we did on Tuesday night. And uh, we also have a link under the community section on our website, okabojichamber.com. Yep. Uh, construction is going to start the day after Labor Day, so yep. September 5th. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, there's going to be some changes with directional traffic and stuff like that but the DOT worked really hard in the spring and they're gonna work really hard this fall to make sure that there is still access to the businesses so right. our message our message is to you know continue to shop local and promote those businesses and support those businesses because it might be a little tougher to get in yeah but they still need your support absolutely so, yep good point right there absolutely so uh, yeah and then uh, we will have the causeway that will be removed for you know and it's just to get anything of any quality done you, you got to go through the the tougher part of it yep. and, and yep, we're there do. hopefully they get a nice long warm fall I mean they got they got a little bit ahead in the spring I'd love to see them eke ahead a little bit this fall yep, if they could they, they, they did this spring and they're 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 biting off a bigger chunk than they had anticipated this fall to try and get more of it done. Yeah. And uh, so we're excited about that, Jeff. And, you know, even when the bridge is closed, or, you know, for those three or four weeks when that's going to happen, we, we really want people to take take a drive and, and help those businesses thrive. Absolutely. So. Yep. They need to you support them throughout the other times. It's a good time to support them yep. when there might be people that don't venture in. So exactly. be the one who ventures. Boldly go. <laughs> Where no one has gone before. Oh my God. <laughs> it won't be that bad. No. <laughs> uh, coming up here real soon, as we've talked about Labor Day, the uh, Great Okaboji Finale is coming up here. It Lakes is. Finale. The, the, uh, the Great Okaboji Lakes Finale Golf Tournament, Iowa Great Lakes Area Chamber Golf Tournament, uh, Friday, September 1st at Okaboji View Golf Course. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we're full. Yeah. So it's uh, it's, it's a great a time. The businesses and the folks have have turned out in droves, wanting to get signed up. And you know, we feel bad. We've had to turn people away, but we're at yeah. the max teams. Yeah. So what just goes to show you the number of people, businesses appreciate everything the, the chamber is yep. doing for the area. So thank you to exactly. all of them. Yeah. And we, we sure appreciate all the sponsors, and yeah. you know, it's it's talking about sponsors, Jeff. It's funny we're you know Oktoberfest is right around the corner, yeah. Fall Festival right around the corner. We have already got our sponsor contracts out for Winter Games. Kylie's been working hard on that, yeah. Uh, so it's a lot, lots of good stuff going on at your chamber, including the new logo for Winter Games coming up. Did you check here. it out. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Isn't it nice? <laughs> and, I, and I can't describe it. It's not a retro. Like, it's just a really cool look. It is. It's a very cool look. It's uh, you know and. The apparel that we're looking at, we're going to have a lot of different options for a lot of different folks, and it's uh, it's going to be good, Jeff. Yeah. So, yeah. Kylie and Morgan are working hard on that, and yeah. I kind of try to stay out of that because oh, I have three daughters. They're way better at that than I am. So. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I would poke my nose in on those sorts of things yep. and get this look like, you're an idiot. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Out. So, so, yeah. So, uh, I assume... Winter Games, what are we, 44? Four. Yep. Start seeing stuff on that as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we talked, uh, you mentioned Oktoberfest coming up here just really a month and a half away now. It is. It's right around the corner. So uh, registrations are open. You have to pre-register for the 
we'd like you to pre-register for the bike ride. Yeah. Uh, it helps us with uh, the shirt order. So yep. if you're planning on doing it, we'd love you to, to pre, pre-order, get on and register in advance. And there's also a price break. Uh, I believe September 9th is the cutoff for uh, when the prices go up. So it's $30 now or $35 then. Uh, the bags tournament also, uh, we'd love to have people sign up for the bags tournament in advance. And you can do that right on our website, okabojichamber.com. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, just so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves, talking winter games and Oktoberfest. <laughs> here we are, uh, you know, one of the weekends in August here in the Iowa Great Lakes. And right there on okabojuchamber.com, you can find out whether it's music or entertainment, shopping, yep. golfing. Great calendar it. events there. Yeah. Uh, a few things that we'd like to highlight is uh, coming up tonight in downtown Spirit Lake is the Spirit Lake Chambers Makers Market. Yep. And they are going to be doing a kids' night tonight. Oh, so, fun. Yeah, we encourage everybody to stop downtown Spirit Lake and check that out tonight. Yeah. And then, of course, Farmer's Market in the park right here on Saturday. Farmer's Market, uh, the Lakes Area Farmer's Market at the fairgrounds on Saturday morning. So lots of opportunity for folks to purchase local, local, support local, and help out these small businesses. You know, and I just got to give a shout out to Regina at the Spirit Lake Chamber. Drove by the school the other night with all the fire trucks and everything, celebrating our hometown heroes, and that's just a great legacy to keep going and, and for the kids to, to learn who their local heroes are, yep, keeping yep. them safe. She's doing a great job up there. We've got the uh, back-to-school business teacher luncheon that the Spirit Lake Chamber does. We've got that today. Oh, my. So looking forward the, to going up and seeing all the teachers and, and serving a good meal to them. Yeah, so. and thank you to them for their service as well, all our school systems. Yeah. We're so lucky. All right, my friend, again, that, uh, let's see, the, the website <laughs> escapes me. Could be okamojichamber.com. Oh, how could I? Right. How could I? <laughs> so, yeah, I encourage people to take a look at that, Jeff. There's all kinds of stuff going on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, entertainment. Yeah. Um, there's, you know, right here in Arnold's Park at Preservation Plaza, there's a free concert on Saturday night, fireworks afterwards again. Yeah. That's a, a, a great opportunity. If you haven't been to the park yet, gosh, you need to do that. Oh. You know, it's not going to be open that much longer. That's right. Enjoy summer while it's here, Jeff. Yep. And remember, of course, all season long, any of the seasons, Roof Garden's always got entertainment yep. as well. But gotcha. BTO Friday night. Bob yes. Turner Overdrive. Looking forward to that one. All right. Looking forward to that because I know the words. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my friend. Well, thank you to all of you at the at the chamber and uh, for all you do, and of course your members and sponsors on different events. Again, Wayne and Dara here again, CEO, President of the Iowa Great Lakes Area Chamber of the Commerce. We thank him for being here with us, and we thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by. The Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services. Advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji.